I wanted to um, start doing videos again and um, the first one I wanted to do was an update to make sure that uh, you know how to install and deploy uh, the, the world's three most popular uh, PHP MySQL and Apache content management systems which are Drupal, Joomla, and WordPress on either your dedicated uh, server or your virtual private server um, and this is mainly for web developers uh, but if you're a novice go ahead uh, you can follow along too when I talk about dedicated servers um, what I'm referring to are um, what I'm referring to uh, are servers that um, you can either get from you know one of the world's um, for the many hosting companies um, uh, dedicated server or a virtual private server it can't be a shared hosting uh, not one of those cheap five dollar a month uh, hosting plans um, so um, if you want to know more about servers and dedicated servers and virtual private servers um, I definitely encourage you to uh, as a web developer because it's very important for you uh, to enroll in Linux Academy um, I personally um, have an account uh, with the Linux Academy um, just to show you that uh, I'm not, you know, just talking stuff. Um, I have an account with the Linux Academy, and I, um, to become a better developer, uh, know how important it is to know PHP, MySQL, and Apache, and and run it on what we call a Linux or LAMP stack. And um, uh, the importance of being able to uh, install Drupal, Joomla, WordPress on a virtual private server or a dedicated server uh, uh, fresh instead of doing what we call the one-click install. Um, if I log into my account, I'll show you what, what I mean. Instead of doing the one-click install, uh, which even you have on a shared hosting account, um, the, the, the importance of it is that you have more control over these systems so that um, when you want to do more advanced uh, functionality such as uh, media and other uh, things you can just go in without having to call your hosting company and worrying about file permissions and other issues that you know uh, possibly your host um, if you're on a shared hosting account won't allow you to do if you're a developer um, I definitely encourage you to either get a dedicated server or a VPS. Now, a dedicated server is a lot more money than a VPS. Um, there are other tutorials that will explain the difference, but definitely start with a VPS. It's a very affordable monthly cost, um, and it will give you the ability to become that awesome web developer that you and everybody who's into web development uh, strives for. So even on my dedicated server, um, I have what we call applications that I can install uh, with just one click, uh, Joomla, WordPress, um, Drupal. Um, I can install all three of them with just a one click install. But, you know, the advantage is that I don't have to do that and I don't have to have the pre-configured settings. So um, in this video, um, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and set up uh, the prerequisites. Of course, you have to set up a MySQL database. All of these three uh, CMSs run off of a MySQL database. So let's go ahead and set up three databases for that. Um, all you do is, uh, if you, um, this is, uh, I'm using Parallels uh, panel. Um, there are two types of uh, uh, panels uh, or or web uh operating systems that you can use um, either uh, parallels panel or C panel I uh, choose to uh, go with uh, parallels um, so I'm gonna go ahead and create uh, three databases um, and one for each uh, content managers content management system so it's very easy uh, these control panels are very good so I'm gonna go ahead and just do Drupal and click OK and of course this is not for my real site um, 
So I'm going to go ahead and make a database user. And, and I am going to say I'm in Drupal. And then give it a password, a strong password. And then hit OK. And I'm going to go ahead and go back to databases and create a database for WordPress and Joomla. Joomla, if whatever you want to call it. So, so I'm going to go on WordPress. And give that a password. Okay, let's save that. Go back to database and create the last uh, database, which is for Joomla. And all of these are MySQL databases. Um, so, and create a new user. I'm in Joomla. Okay, so that's the first step. So we have all these. We have three databases um, for our three content management systems. Uh, then what we want to do is we want to go to each of these sites and download the latest versions of the CMSs. And then what you want to do is I have already downloaded them and I've got them on my desktop. And I want to go ahead and put these all on my host. So I use a, a FTP client. Uh, like FileZilla and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a secure transfer uh, to my uh, website using SSH uh, transfer uh, file transfer protocol which is a more secure way of transferring it I mean I know some of you use the regular FTP but all you have to do is switch to the version of uh, SF SFTP uh, which is a uh, uh, SSH and uh, put in your same uh, FTP username and password and then connect which I am doing now uh, I'm always gonna remember this and then uh, I'm gonna go into my HTTP docs folder and all I'm gonna do is just go navigate to my desktop where those files are uh, navigate to the desktop where those files are at right here and I'm just gonna uh, highlight all of them the Joomla the Drupal and the WordPress and before I do that there is one thing I do have to do that uh, I did notice when I was practicing this I do have to create a directory for Joomla, so let me do that first. J O O M L A. So I did that, and uh, what I am going to do is just highlight Joomla and upload that. And you want to upload them as zip files. So I'll show you how to unzip them um, in a minute. Um, so I did that. Then I want to go up one directory. And then I want to go ahead and do Drupal and WordPress. So upload those to my root folder. Because uh, they're going to be on separate uh, you know, domains or whatever. So uh, we have that. So then 
um, this is where, um, again, where I do encourage you to learn Linux. Because after that, when you have a dedicated server, um, you, um, in order to, you know, uh, utilize the power of what you can do as a developer, uh, you're going to have to use what we call the terminal or the what used to what you're used to on the Windows machine if you're used to use the Windows the command line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna minimize a uh, filezilla for a minute and uh, first bring up terminal. I don't really need FileZilla anymore anyway, so I'm going to bring up Terminal. I'm going to go ahead and uh, close out this portion of the video um, and uh, continue with the continue with another video.